I'm here at Ike Postakel in Vannen, the Isle of Man post office, and I'm going to find out all about the great work that they do championing Manx language and culture. Hunroon, let's go. Maxine, we're really lucky to have our own post office here on the Isle of Man and you do such a lot to promote Manx culture all around the world. I was wondering, could you tell us a bit about that? Well, it was really a very big thing back on the 5th of July 1973 when the Isle of Man gained postal independence from the British Post Office. And one of the things in the Postal Act at that time was that um, it was very much in order to use postage stamps to promote the independence of our island and um, to support our culture, our heritage, our statesmanship and our part in the bigger world. And uh, that gives uh, me personally, and I know all the people that have been associated with stamps and coins, a uh, huge pride that some part of Manxness on pretty much all, well, the name for one always has to be on there. So to have Isle of Man going uh, around the world. I always say, yeah, you can't put uh, a text message on a mantelpiece, but you can put an Isle of Man envelope with a stamp on, and uh, that's hugely satisfying. Brilliant, Yindersach. How has the Isle of Man post office used Manx language in particular? Well, across a huge number of our issues, we've used the Manx language. I suppose really the issue that celebrated the Manx language was when we had the centenary of the Manx language back in 1999 and we produced the issue called The Jewels of the Manx Language, which many people will remember. And this was an issue that uh, we worked with Charles Alexander, the jeweller down in Strand Street. He created the beautiful jewels that encompassed our language and those were brought out just before the millennium. And I felt that they were really a springboard to take us into the next century and all the great things that uh, Culture Vannon had done, but also the investment that the Isle of Man government through ourselves and others and through education has done to pr promote and preserve um, our language um, in these days when language is a huge symbol of um, nationality and pride. Fantastic, and this, this particular issue is the 100 centenary uh, celebrations of Nchejik Gilgak, the Manx Language Society, isn't yes. it? I see some beautiful Manx and all of these different stamps and some gorgeous, gorgeous designs, really, really beautiful. What other things have you done with the Manx language? I mean, obviously, it's on um, your entire sign for the Isle of Man post office. Yes, yeah, well, Post-up every day. Um, yeah. And uh, we've had uh, Manx folk traditions with Manx-born illustrator Jay Cover, who produce this issue and so this was an, another way of representing our heritage and traditions there but um, really one of the biggest things must have been when the Bible uh, was translated into Manx. The translation of the Manx Prayer Book issue which was our Christmas issue two or three years ago really reminded everybody, I mean you can see it all here, you know, this isn't a come day, go day language, <laughs> you know we haven't just thought it up. Um, Absolutely, it's, yeah. Uh, you know, it's been with us for so long and to see the words represented peace and strength, strength. On there, yeah. and obviously we needed all of this yeah. and Julia Ashby Smythe who was a huge supporter of all things Manx um, did a wonderful job in um, pairing the two together. And you've just handed me this wonderful envelope with a fantastic array of stamps on it. It says Banachten, greetings in Manx. Can you tell me more about the stamp collection? Well, pretty much everywhere has um, uh, their own greeting on their national day. And it was very apparent. Paul Ford, um, my co a long-standing colleague, uh, has championed the idea that we would have a greeting for Timwood Day that everybody would know and everybody would use. Uh, and through um, Culture Vannon, uh, they gave us a term, Tim Valaboo. So we use that as the basis for beautiful artwork created specially for us by local artist um, Mary Cousins. And this really is a story of Timble Day for these little characters um, and incorporating Manx and to see so many people um, saying Tim Fallaboo! <laughs> it was thrilling 
Siende Sachsen, that's, yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. We think that the Isle of Man Post Office is doing a wonderful job uh, to increase the vis visibility of Manx, uh, not only here on the island, but all around the world. So with that in mind, Jeevan, the Manx Language Network, would like to award the Isle of Man Post Office Eek Postak Ellen Bannon with the Londair Award for 2021, which is the Lantern Award. And that means it's celebrating um, individuals and groups um, who are shining a light for um, the Manx language and on the Manx language. So we just want to say, good on my Thank you so, so much for all that you're doing. It's wonderful. Well, I feel very humble. Oh, I'm going to this. Well, it's just wonderful. It's just great to see. And so, um, yeah, it means a lot to all of us. I accept this on behalf of all the people since the 5th of July, 19... Well, before that, actually, the likes of um, Victor Neal and others who were so passionate about getting our own post office and all the people since Victor who've passed through the Isle of Man post office and uh, in particular, Isle of Man Stamps, um, who have the same passion that we continue to have today. And also on behalf of our collectors worldwide, who when they get their stamps, they take huge pride in sharing them with all their friends and family. And um, that is just so thrilling and so unexpected and thank you very very much Stay there you're welcome and thank you very much for chatting to us today it's been our pleasure <laughs> <laughs>